Hello everyone! Pag-usapan natin ang proving of divisibility by mathematical induction. We have to prove that 5 raised to n minus 1 is divisible by 4. Kapag sinabi natin na divisible, dapat kapag dinivide natin yung 5 raised to n minus 1 kay 4, wala tayong makukuha na remainder. Kaya let us apply our two steps when it comes to mathematical induction. Ang una natin is our basis step. Ang ginagawa natin dito is, kinukuha natin yung first term, our n is equal to 1, tapos sinasubstitute natin siya dun sa given expression, tapos titignan natin kung totoo siya. Kasi sa umpisa pa lang, kung mali na siya, then wala nang point yung pagpuprove sa later terms. Kaya ang gagawin natin, we are given with 5 raised to n, minus 1, tapos i-divide natin siya by 4, titignan natin kung yung magiging sagot ay divisible ba kay 4. So we substitute 1 dito sa n, so this will become 5, ang n ay magiging 1, so this is 5 raised to 1, minus 1 over 4 is equal to 5 raised to 1 is just 5 minus 1 over 4, we have 5 minus 1, that is 4 over 4 which is equal to 1. Meron tayong nakuha na sagot na integer, kaya at n is equal to 1, then yung 5n minus 1 is indeed divisible by 4. Kaya ang isang importanteng konsepto dito ay dapat yung quotient is always an integer para masabi natin na totoo yung divisibility. Ngayong tapos na tayo sa basis, let us proceed with our second step. This is our inductive step. Sulat ko muna siya. This is our inductive step. Meron dalawang part ang inductive step. Yung una, we will be assuming a value, yung n natin is equal to any variable or value k. So given our equation, yung n, papalitan lang natin siya ng k. So let us work here, gawin natin siya. So we have 5, tapos yung n ay magiging k, minus 1. Tapos kapag nag-divide tayo by 4, dapat ang sagot ay magiging isang integer. We can use any letter to represent it. Ang gagamitin natin for this one is h. Medyo galawin muna natin siya. Let us multiply both sides of our equation by 4. Kaya matitira sa left side, we have 5 raised to k minus 1. Tapos yung nasa kabila will become 4h. Ito yung sagot as we multiply 4 dun sa both sides ng equation. Then sundan nyo lang muna ako sa proseso. Gagamitin natin to mamaya. So we have our 5k here. I-isolate natin siya. Ililipat ko si negative 1 sa kabilang side ng equation. So we have 5 raised to k is equal to 4h. Si minus 1 will become plus 1. Then we let this be our first equation. Ito yung assumption natin. Balikan na lang natin siya memia. Let us proceed dun sa pangalawang step or pangalawang part ng inductive step. After our assumption, ipapakita natin na kung totoo siya, kay k, n is equal to k, then dapat totoo din siya dun sa susunod na value or terms ng k. So we have to show that our n is still the same, is still true, kay k plus 1. Kasi kapag ka napatunayan na to, then we can say that it is also true dun sa mga susunod pa na terms kay k plus 1. Kaya kung sa assumption natin yung n, pinalta natin ng k, ngayon yung n naman natin ay papalitan natin ng k plus 1. So again, we have our divisibility, 5 raised to n, papalitan natin siya to k plus 1, minus 1, tapos kapag ka-divide natin siya kay 4, magkakaroon tayo ng quotient dapat na integer values. Kaya kung gumamit tayo ng h kanina, we will be using another variable, say ang gamitin natin ay variable m. Kaya magkaiba yung variables na ginamit natin. Then galawin na lang natin to algebraically para mapatunayan natin yung divisibility. Pareho nung ginawa natin sa assumption para mas maging simple, mawala yung denominator. Let us multiply both sides of our equation by 4. So we have 5 raised to k plus 1 minus 1 is equal to 4m. Ang approach natin dito kapag ka nakakuha tayo ng m, that is an integer, dahil nakamultiply na siya by 4, then sigurado na tayo na magiging divisible siya by 4. Kaya gagawa tayo ng paraan para yung left side ay mapunta sa ganitong form. Na meron tayong 4 na nakamultiply siya sa certain expression m na masasabi natin as an integer. Kaya galawin natin to we have our 5 raised to k plus 1. As we recall from our loss of exponent kapag nagmumultiply tayo, 
ng dalawang exponents with the same base, ang ginagawa lang natin is we copy the base tapos we add the exponents. Ngayon, pabaliktad yung gagawin natin. Kasi meron tayong addition ng exponents, kaya paghihiwalayin natin sila using multiplication. Kaya yung 5 raised to k plus 1, this is also equal to 5 raised to k times 5 raised to 1. This is by applying our loss of exponent, then still minus 1 is equal to 4m. Tapos dito na natin magagamit yung assumption natin. From our equation 1, yung value ng 5 raised to k is just equal to 4h plus 1. Kaya ang gagawin natin, ipapalit na natin siya dito. So we substitute our 4h plus 1 dito sa 5 raised to k as per our equation 1. Then nakamultiply siya sa 5 raised to 1, that is just 5. Then still minus 1 is equal to 4m. Then tuloy lang natin yung ating manipulation dito. Distribute natin si 5, we have 4h times 5, this is just equal to 20h. Tapos naman, we have our 1 times 5, that is equal to positive 5, and then minus 1 is equal to 4m. Then kaya pa siyang isimplify, we have 20h plus 5 minus 1 is just 4, is equal to, medyo napapalapit na tayo dito sa 4m natin sa right side. Then as we continue on with our solution, pwede tayong mag-factor out ng 4 dito sa 20h siya ka sa 4. So as we factor out 4, ano yung matitara sa loob? 20 divided by 4, that is just 5, and then h plus pareho siyang 4, so this is 1, is equal to 4m. Kaya ngayon, alalahanin natin na yung left side natin, this is just equal to 5 raised to k plus 1 minus 1. Ngayon, siya ay 4 times 5h plus 1. Kung titignan natin yung form nung nasa left side at right side, yung 5h plus 1, we can represent that as our m. Kasi if we let our m be equal to 5h plus 1, then yung equation natin ay magiging equal na. Kasi we will be arriving at 4, yung 5h plus 1 ay ginawa nating m is equal to 4m. Pero another way to look at this, kasi yung 5h plus 1 natin, Magiging integer na to palagi. Kasi yung h natin, if we substitute any integer, magiging integer din yung sagot ng 5h plus 1. Kaya if you have 4 times any integer, tapos kapag dinivide mo siya by 4, then ang sagot natin is still an integer. Hence, yung ating 4 times m. Therefore, again, kasi etong part na to, yung left side ng equation natin is just equal to 5 raised to k plus 1 minus 1, then we can say that 5 raised to k plus 1 minus 1 is divisible by 4. This is by applying our proof by mathematical induction. This is already the end of our solution. Hello everyone! I am Sir Kenneth of STEM Teacher PH. Kung nakatulong sa'yo itong video na to, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell para updated kayo sa ating uploads. Bye!